Hey Savvies! Alright, Joanna here and we are just going to be doing a quick tutorial about Bug Herd. One of the key tools that I actually use for my clients in terms of having more of a visual tracking to identify which section of a live site they need to actually incorporate. So normally what happened, if I'm going to just extend this one, <laughs> so normally what happened is that, um, you know, when we are already in the development stage and we have already composed the website and then there are just tiny details that need to be identified, like change this, um, the indention is wrong or this is wrong spelling, um, this is move this one in the next paragraph. And sometimes when you get this one through an email, it's kind of really vague. And when you're looking at it, right, when you're looking at the website, you get as a designer or as a developer who's doing this, sometimes it can be overwhelming in a sense that you want things to edit faster, but you still have to locate everything which goes which, right? So I'm going to be showing you all this tool that we use as part of our system in Savvy Shape design my small team and i try to use this one once we are already um, developed the website on the platform itself whether it's kajabi new zendler and what i like about this tool is that it is a chrome extension so normally on a wordpress site this is what you call wherein you can upload a plugin that you can get some online feedback and just imagine it it's like a post-it it's like you know like a post-it where you kind of just pin and see like oh change this one or change this one kind of of that type of a concept so this one is more online it's more streamlined and then they have a dashboard at the back end that will see which one is tagged and this is actually a screenshot as well and when it is a chrome extension it's really much more easier that because some of the plugins in wordpress are compatible with wordpress but this um Chrome extension or platform is compatible with whatever platform there is. So whether it's building in Kajabi and WordPress in Squarespace or whatever platform you are designing. And if you're a client and you can actually also introduce this one to your um, designer so that it's much more easier in terms of getting organized with your thoughts, right? So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me minimize this one. So the platform is actually called Bug Herd. So it is a visual feedback software. I've discovered this one last year when I was really overwhelmed with all of the minor edits and it's really just hard to locate and then it is a price within a number like of seats right like five members like for example so you can invite clients as a guest but then you can have at least five members for $39 per month so it's unlimited project, unlimited guest, screenshot, um, required browser extension. Um, it's going to be annotation screenshot. You can integrate like Zapier, Slack, um, GitHub, Basecamp integration, public feedback, and then 10 gig storage, right? So you might have to, for sure, um, remove some of the done website once you are in as well. So. You can truly just work on that one. Let me just see. Okay, number there. And then you can surely like switch plans from time to time. And for the $39, there was one time that we didn't have much client yet within this um, live that we already implemented. So I had, I can pause my account without losing everything. So that was also one thing that I really do love about it. Um, you know, there's a 14 day trial as well. And they are, you know, they didn't have much like YouTube content that much, but they had the basic things that can really um, give you some ideas as well on how to do this. So let's go ahead and log in. So I'm just going to show you all how it is. So I'm just going to incorporate oops, that and then let's log in. So this is basically the main dashboard. These are all the websites that are connected into this. So you will actually see, for example, um, this written website that was here. Let me open this up. And then you'll actually see like, oh, there is like the done or 
Um, I think this was an old one. So there are members, so key members of this. Let me see which one is active for sure. Um, I've actually just added ground control just now. So what we normally do is that here's how it um, how we use this one. So we add, for example, a project. So these are all the project that has the Chrome extension connected, right? So I think this is one because at least there's like 40 tabs. So you'll see how there's like a backlog, there's a to-do, there's doing. And then when you open that one, you can actually assign it. So if you have members, you can assign who's responsible. Like for example, it says here, let me just expand this it says the background text we need to capitalize the t and the m so when i open this then i know which one is she talking about here this is the one right so when i open the site we then know which one was that so you see how this one are here Right, so this was activated already with this feedback, and then I can identify it much, much easier um, on the back end. And then I can move it. Like for example, this is done, and this is done. These are all done in terms of the changes that is happening. And then everything that is pinned goes to the back backlog. And then just like a scrum or like um, agile or like project management, you just have to do, doing, and then done. So that is very easy or and very simple. So if it is a new website, you are just going to add a project. I'm going to add my own personal website. Right, and then just add the URL. And create the project, right? So now I actually already have the Chrome extension here, but you can actually just go to Google um, Chrome extension, just type it, sorry, Chrome extension store. And then open this one and then just type in bug herd and then look for the one that is offered by bug herd himself and then you can just add the chrome i've already add mine so that is for sure like good to go um you can also you know see some of the things that they have all right so once you have that one i actually pin it here i usually have this icon extension and i really pin this one so that it's easier for me so if i kind of want to pin grammarly you see how that is there if not it's actually available but it's not easy access but i kind of want to do that one so i already have bug herd so i'm going to open the website now right and then i can even um just log out of my wordpress all right just to get that full scope now i activate it so you see how there's like a gray i'm gonna go ahead and it says current project savvy shape design open sidebar you want open sidebar so everything is here so you see how the task the backlog the to do the doing and everything is going to be in your sidebar and then um currently the beta it's like a screen share like how it is i'm recording this one right now in loom but we're just going to do this one here so this is the very first time so for example I have an issue. I'm just going to locate for that. So for example, this section here, um, change the header to this text, right? So for example, you add all the header, you see how it actually screenshot here. Um, it depends, like you see how the annotation is here. So you can even like, okay, this one, um, you know, like for example, remove this, and then you can still really be exact still. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to exit that one. It basically just opened um, this, right? And then I'm going to exit. Okay. Right. So you see how the annotation is already has that cop captured. It captured this one, right? So I'm going to exit this. And then I'm going to assign it to whoever is. So Joanna, it's my business. I'm the main here. Um, 
the client can do that. And then if I do that one while I'm reviewing the work of my team, I can then assign it to my team member. Then I'm going to say like important, critical, normal, minor. I'm going to say like critical, it's going to be in backlog and then tag, um, whichever tag you kind of want, for example, homepage, um, and then create task. All right. So when you open that one, you see how there's one backlog on the on the sidebar on the right side of my screen. Then when I open back bug herd here, you see how this is now here as well. So change the header. Then I can do that one. I can check and then I can open it. Then I can open it to website and then do the necessary changes. So it is much easier. And then once it's completed, it actually will turn gray. Let me make sure. So, for example, it's here done all right so mark you can mark it as archive meaning it's already done um so that you won't keep repeating and it's no longer there right but usually what i do is that i just keep on doing done so that i can always revert back into that platform or into the section that needs this um edit as well so i hope this actually is something that is interest um, interested um, for you for your project if you're a designer if you're a web developer whether even you're a client give this to your um, web designer right so that it can you can really streamline a lot of things in your business so i'm just so happy that you have um you have checked this video out and if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel make sure to subscribe at um here in our youtube channel and for all my clients um this is also going to be part of their onboarding video as well so that they know how to use bucket all right thank you so much have a wonderful day